Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, entertainment and technology clients, showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, it's day two at the IBC here in Amsterdam. Really pleased to be joined now by Mike Cuomo, who is the vice president of the third generation family business that is Telemetrics. Mike, uh, how are you? How's the show going so far? Very good. Yeah, super excited. Yeah, this is our uh, 52nd year. Uh, so, um, yeah, we're, we're super excited. Okay, so what exactly are you showcasing this year? Yeah, so this year, uh, right behind us, we're showing our uh, telescope. That is our robotic jib. We unveiled that at NAB, and now this is the European welcome for the product. And um, like with all of our products, uh, safety was uh, first and foremost in the product design. So all along the arm here, you'll notice there's LEDs, indicators, and sensors. And it's uh, completely safe to be used inside of studios, event spaces, and you don't need to worry about running into set pieces or objects or even worse, uh, people. And in terms of, I mean, it's so busy here today and there's lots of people doing lots of the same thing. What would you say your USP is? Hmm. Kind of what I was just talking about a bit, I would say safety is, is a big USP for us. Yeah, you'll see a lot of robotics and, and other items here at the show that just don't take into consideration those kind of elements. And for us, you know, hitting you know, expensive equipment or hitting people is just a non-starter. Um, so, you know, that and also that we do all the design and engineering in-house. So we don't use any uh, third-party products. It's all developed in-house. So we have full control end-to-end, -end, uh, you know, at the firmware level, at the software level, and at the hardware design level. It really is such a success story, as you say, 52 years doing business. Who are your customers? Are you allowed to tell us? Yeah, um, all the all the major customers that, that you would expect. Uh, unfortunately, those larger customers we're, we can't always go out and and talk about, but. Um, yeah, we, we, we're an international company. We do uh, obviously a lot of business in the U.S., but we have a heavy pre presence here in Europe and APAC and Middle East as well. What about all of the current trends that we're hearing about, you know, especially when it comes to AI? I'm sure, I'm sure you've incorporated AI into the yeah. offering. Absolutely, and, and, that's, and that's a super exciting, you know, bright future for the product line because a lot of the hardware here we've developed with that, you know, future roadmap in mind, and we have a lot of AI built into our products. So from from path planning to collision avoidance to uh, robotic, inter-robotic communication to avoid each other. We also have our reframe, which is our facial and object tracking. Uh, yeah, AI is, is heavily invested in our products. Yeah, and you're really investing in that side of the business too, that R&D is important. Yes, absolutely. We, we look at ourselves first and foremost as an R&D company. Yeah. Uh, that's always been our, our core um, ethos and, and yeah, we're continuing that trend. And looking ahead to the future, I know things are different for you now. You've just been acquired. Yeah, it's super exciting. Um, it's, it's very nice to take our small team that has been able to do a lot for, for our size and then now join the EVS organization um, along with XD Motion to form the, the new T-Motion brand. And uh, yeah, the future is super bright. We're super excited. Um, and it's to expand on our functionality, uh, offer better service for our customers, a larger presence. Yeah, it's exciting. Good luck and it is fabulous to catch up with you at the show. Thank you very much.